breaking news right now affecting a whole bunch of people. Icy conditions creating a dangerous drive out there on the road. State police telling 7 Action News there have been numerous crashes in every single county across Metro Detroit tonight. We do have Team 7 coverage for you beginning with 7 Action News reporter Curtis Jackson. He's live in Detroit where there was a six car pile up. Curtis. That's right. If you take a look behind me, Carolyn, and see me, you can see 375 off in the distance and those flashing lights. Nothing has moved in that area for the better part of the last hour and a half or so after a series of accidents tonight because of those icy road conditions. MSP telling me that there were six cars at least involved in crashes. Some people were taken to the hospital. Two individuals, in fact, were taken to the hospital to be checked out as a precaution. Other individuals were treated for injuries at the scene that are not to believe to be life threatening, nor were the injuries life threatening with respect to the people taken to the hospital. Not just here, though. Take a look at 94 in E course. You can see icy road conditions leading to spin outs and crashes there as well. But probably one of the bigger scenes we've seen tonight. 94 in Oakman. Take a look at this. Nothing happening there. Just slow going. Nothing moving at all. Uh, they're trying to get through there in terms of getting these accidents cleared. But uh, the big part of that challenge is not only just getting the number of tow trucks that are necessary, but they also have to clear the road as well. They need to get salt onto those roads in order to make sure that they're actually passable. That's exactly what is happening right here at 375, why nothing is moving at this point in time. They're clearing those accident scenes. Once they're cleared, then they have to come through with the salt to make sure that those roads will be passable. Again, no major injuries to report tonight. That's the good news. But it appears that some of us may be out of practice when it comes to driving in winter conditions, given all of the warm weather that we've had recently. Live in Detroit tonight, Curtis Jackson, 7 Action News. You've certainly got that right, Curtis. So we all need to take it easy. Thank you so much for the live report.